All right, so in this course, we are going to work with Schema Builder. So what exactly is a Schema Builder? So we have been creating objects and fields on the previous courses. Um, basically, we're doing it in our head, right? So we think with our head, oh, what do we want to create? Oh, I want to create a student object and I want to have the student name, the date of birth, the classes they are in, the grades and so on. And, and then we create the object, the student object, and we create the fields. Basically, we think it over in our head before we actually create them. So this schema builder is going to help us see what we have created or what we are going to create so we can visualize or see it better. So with this tool, we can see the things we have created better, okay? So let's, let's go and launch our trailhead playground and take a look what it's uh, it's gonna look like. I'm gonna launch my trailhead playground here. And do you still remember where to go? Of course, we are going to go to the gear icon here and hit setup, pop. It's gonna pop up a new window. And on here, you can search for schema builder. schema builder over there as you can see so this is the schema builder see it's showing the things we have created so we have a student object what does the student object have it has a birth date so, so the red ones are the i think it's a required field i forget yeah, I think it's a required field or um, never mind that for now because I rarely use a schema builder myself, to be honest. I personally like to think it in my head or a piece of paper or a whiteboard. You know, I just used to use my hand, draw stuff rather than using drag and drop tool. But this is also useful to see things, how things are linked to each other. So for example, you can see a student is linked to a teacher. You see these three um, branches there? So it means one teacher can have many students, right? So one teacher can have a lot of students. One st student can have a lot of report card, right? Does that make sense? Okay, so this um, schema builder is helping you to visualize things uh, more clearly, okay? How one object relates to another object and how they are linked to each other. So let's, for example, make up a whole new object here. All right, so let's create a new object that is related to a student and it's more it's still relevant to what we are trying to do. So if you click on the elements here, you can see what is available for you to play with. So you have objects and fields, right? Just two. If you wanna make a new object, you can just grab this and drag it over to the canvas on the right side. So let's do one. I want to make a new object called homeworks. You must know what a homework is. So let's do some homework object. Okay. Homework as well as the plural and description, the homework um, or assignments of assigned to students okay and allow reports allow activities track field history 
and I'm gonna just go save. So basically, what we are doing is um, we are creating the object uh, just like before, but instead of doing it from the 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 previous um, setup uh, pages, we create it directly from the schema builder. So when I save this, it's going to create the object there. Pretty cool, right? So how do we link this object, um, the homework object to the student? So what do you think? Each student will have just one homework or each student can have a lot of homework. So a lot of homework, right? So we want the branch here at the bottom here. So homework um, is a detail. Let's make a detail uh, relationship of the student right so student have homeworks so let's let's do that um, i'm going to create a new field here is a master detail i'm going to drag it here and let's see what happens so field label let's just name it um student who is the student um who is the student that did the homework, right? The student, right, that did the homework, right? Okay. Related to the student, right? So this um, homework is related to a student. The student is the master object and the homework is the child object or the detail object, okay? So we are going to set that and... I'm just going to save and don't mind the details because right now we are focusing. Focus is the key. Focus, focus. Hey, pay attention. So focus is the key. Uh, we are going to just focus on the schema builder, not the details or the nitty gritty details on, on here. So don't mind that. So I'm going to hit save. So there, field save. See, it's automat automatically, not automatically, automatically say one student can have a lot of homework right so this is what you do with schema builders you can create uh, more fields on the object and you can see how one object relates to the other object and you can create yeah more fields by just dragging more fields there so that's pretty much it um, you can also zoom out if you have a lot of stuff going on Maybe you have 20 objects, right? You can zoom there so, so you can see it more clearly. And you can choose um, to display other objects by checking the checkbox here. Right? If I check that, you can see the account is way down there, right? So it's way down there. We can drag it up. But right now, this account object has nothing to do with our um, school story or school scenario right so we're just gonna forget about you can also do that forget about the account object so if you don't want to see an object what do you do guess basically uncheck it poof it's gone right back gone back gone so same thing with homework gone back so whatever object you want to work with you can play with that so that's pretty much it for this particular course. I hope you get the gist out of the whole thing here. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any question. And next I will ask Joshua to demonstrate what can he do with a schema builder with his pet story. He likes pets. I'll see you on the next course.